Hello, my name is Efat, and I will tell you a little bit about the Jewish community of Belgium. Jews are people of migration. When we talk about Jewish people, we talk about migrated people. They moved a lot through the history, mainly due to social and political oppressions that resulted in forced migration, as we witnessed during and after the Second World War. The history of the Jewish community in Belgium starts as early as the 13th century, once again due to the deportation from England and France. When Belgium became independent, it recognized Judaism as one of its religions. Judaism was a private affair and the state recognized the community leaders. All Jewish matters were concentrated under the one organization, Consistoire Central Israeli de Belgique, that is in full activity until today. During the 19th century, Brussels was the center of the Jewish community of Belgium, but with the rising waves of immigration from Eastern Europe, the Jews moved to Antwerp, where the Jewish community grew significantly. At the eve of the First World War, there were approximately 40,000 Jews in Belgium. But the rise of the Nazi regime in Germany changed that as about 25,000 Jews fled Germany and Austria to Belgium. These Jewish migrants wanted to keep the traditions and the heritage they brought from their countries. At the end of the 30s, 95% of the Jews in Belgium were migrants. In 1939, the Jewish community consisted of approximately 70,000 Jews, mainly in Brussels and Antwerp. After the Nazi invasion of Brussels on the 10th of May, 1940, Jews were forced to wear a yellow star on their clothing. They were tagged and isolated from the society, and the Nazis gradually destroyed their social and economic infrastructure and resources. Orders and restrictions began to appear one after the other. The Jews were imprisoned in individual or collective orders. Many Belgian Jews were imprisoned and sent to a camp in Mechelen, Caserne d'Ossa, on the illusion that they were moving to work in the East. 24,906 Jews were sent to Auschwitz. Of those, only 1,194 people remained alive. Many Belgians opposed the Nazis and helped the Jews. Among them, the church and underground organizations. Many of them received the title of righteous among the nations. Jewish children were saved by Belgian families. After the war, Jews came back to Belgium and started to rebuild their lives on the ruins of the former Jewish community. The war affected a lot the survivors. Many of them came back to Belgium with no family, no friends, and obviously with nothing to start their lives with. The immigration of Jews stopped almost completely, except immigration from Poland and Hungary in the 50s. Poland in 1968, and Egyptian Jews in 1956, during and after the Sinai War. Jews from Rhod, who lived in Congo, came to Belgium in the 60s. This brought a shift to in the characteristic of the Jewish community that added to it a more Sephardic as, aspect. Um, Sephardic Jews came originally from Spain and Portugal and migrated into different countries such as Italy, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, and so on. At the same time, there was emigration from Belgium to Israel. Since the Second World War, there is no registration 
of religion in Belgium, and therefore it is difficult to know the exact number of Jews today in Belgium. Many Belgian Jews are assimilated in the Belgian society, and they are not registered in any of the Jewish institutions. The most serious threat to the security of the Jews is the terrorist attacks on Jewish organizations that began in 1980. And recently, the attack on the Jewish Museum, which brought Jewish institutions and organizations to be under heavy security by the police and the army. One of the major goals of the Jewish community is to fight racism and anti-Semitism. Among the Jewish community of Belgium, 48% were born in another country, but they feel part of the community they live in. 40% of the Belgian Jewry consider themselves secular Jews. 15% consider themselves liberals and about 25% see themselves traditionalist. Only six of Belgian Jews consider themselves orthodox. Brussels holds a secular Jewish community, but most Jews send their children to Jewish schools and youth movements. In Brussels, the Jewish community maintain about 10 to 12 synagogues that represent different currents in Judaism from Reform to Orthodox, Ashkenaz coming mainly from East Europe and Sephardic. There are Jewish schools, a Jewish radio and newspapers. Jews in Brussels have a high social status and have a positive social mobility. They managed to create a strong Jewish community, an excellent Jewish education system. They hold high education degrees, and many of them have liberal occupations. The Jewish community is relatively stable in Brussels due to low birth rate and assimilation. The word migrants is no longer used to describe the Jews in Belgium, and today, they are an integral part of the Belgian society.